All right, Surfer Ray here, and it's been uh, 10 days since we uh, set up our cells into our finisher. And uh, we're going to pull them out right now and uh, check it out and see how, uh, how they're doing. And then we'll be transferring them over to our incubator. All righty. The other thing we're going to be doing today is we're going to be pulling out the queen excluder and allowing our queen to come get back up in here because everything should be pretty close to hatched out up top. And I'm sure it's pretty packed down below. We'll also be making sure there's no queen cells down there. And uh, getting this hive back into a normal configuration until we get ready to uh, do another batch. Wow, some nice big cells. All right, there we have it. A couple more didn't take that I uh, thought we're going to take, but uh, yeah, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of uh, 45 that didn't take. So 30, 38, not, not too bad. All right, we're going to go put these in our incubator and uh, um, get ready to go make a bunch of splits so we can put these cells in tomorrow. All righty. All right, what do you say, Rich? I think it's really cool, Ray. Very interesting and um, really cool. Yeah, those are our cells right there. We're getting ready to put them in the incubator. <clears throat> Keep it around 94, 95 degrees at about 50 to 60 percent humidity and uh look how beautiful this is right yep yep all righty put her in there okay <laughs> we got all our honey supers in here because we're <laughs> working on the extracting trailer and uh so there's not a lot of room here